Welcome to Mishnah. Study Masachah Halab Perik Gimel Mishnah Dalit. Over here in this Mishnah, we're going to speak about dedicating fruits to the Temple, right, to the Hekdesh. And it's Mishnah that we actually had in the fourth Perik of Masachah Pea already. Right? Mishnah Chayet. If you want to see how I taught it over there, you could just repeat that one. It's the same exact Mishnah. It's interesting. This doesn't happen so often in Mishnahot, but every so often you do have some Mishnahot that repeat itself in a different Masachah. So over here we're going to have this Mishnah, and it's going to speak about dedicating fruits to the Hekdesh. So Kayotzeb was similarly a Maktish Perotav. If someone was Maktish's Perot. Right, his fruits. He was he dedicated the his fruits. Before they reached the season of Maasrot, right? Because they, they were that ripening stage, right? They're not obligated in Maasrot yet. And he dedicated to the Mikdash, Uftayan, and he redeemed them beforehand. Hayabin, right? Because afterwards they're in his possession when they reach the Maasrot, Onat Maasrot. And when they reach Onat Maasrot in his possession, it's going to be Hayab. The opposite as well. Right? Let's say they were in his possession when they reached Onat Masrot, the uh, the Masrot season, and afterwards he redeemed them. Also, Hayavim. Right? Again, of course, they reached Onat Masrot, the, the Masrot season in his possession. But Hikdishan Achilonig Middle. Right? If he was Makdish, he dedicated before they reached the Masrot season. Right? And then Ugmaran Hagizbar, when they were re- they ripened, right? They reached the uh, Masrot season in the treasurer's uh, possession. Okay, now in the that, that's what that's when it reached. So over here it would be Hayav, right? But again, Hekdesh is patur from setting aside Masrot. So and what happens afterwards? He comes, a Harkach Pedayan, he comes afterwards and redeems them from the Hekdesh. Peturim, they're going to be patur these fruits. Why? Should be Shah Khobatana, you peturim, because of the time where they would have become obligated, right? When they reached the Onat Masrot, it was in the Hekdesh's property, and Hekdesh is patur from Masrot.